I don't know. I, I just don't know what to believe and what not to. I'm sorry. It's a lot to take in. These facts, they, they keep changing the more you think about them. Come on, it's simple. It's clear that the doctor was of sound mind and he was prescribing Sam Cutter with these pills, the very pills he then overdosed on. Now, if it's a dangerous act, then he's guilty. If not, it's medical manslaughter, which isn't breaking any laws. And that's what this is, clearly. Prescribing pills happens every day. How can you call that a dangerous act? It's not every day a doctor visits his patient's home to give them a prescription. Look, he did what he needed to do to make sure his patient was taken care of. I think we're drifting away from the point. It was definitely clear that the dosage was enough to kill him. Even though the doctor had no idea, that's what his patient would do. What are your thoughts? I think we need to find out what the motive was. It's likely that it was just a mistake, but what if the doctor did it deliberately? Even if it wasn't to kill him? Okay, so where do we start? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I think I need to see some of the evidence again. Yeah, me too. Anything specific? There was a phone call, right? Between the doctor and Kata. Can we see more of the transcript? Certainly. I wanted to ask, was it just me or do either of you find the doctor familiar? Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know where from though. What about you? Hmm? No, never seen him before. Do any of you have a cigarette? I don't think you can smoke in here. That's not what I asked you. Do you have a cigarette? No, sorry, I don't smoke. Wait. Right. No, it's too big. How would you expect that thing to be brought into a public place unnoticed? Really? Wait, wait a second. Can you be hidden it in the bathroom? Please, just be quiet a second. Four. You asked. You asked for something else. What? You. How do I explain this? Before, you asked him to bring in the phone call transcript. That, that was it. Did none of you realize what's happened? Please, enlighten us. This case is about a doctor prescribing pills to his patient that he overdosed on. Yes, I think we're all aware of that. Good. So, if we're all clear on what the case is about then... Then what? Then... Why do we have this gun as evidence? Look, I'm sure I picked up the, um... Wait. I know where we are now. Where? This place, it isn't real. Didn't any of you three notice? Twelve of us walked in here. Where did the others go? And now, I walk out and I come back in with this gun. And I don't even know where I got it from. Oh. But... There were always four of us. Was there? Or have you just forgotten? When has there ever been a jury of four? What are you getting at? The thing is, the only logical explanation I can think of is that we're dreaming. A dream? That's it. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Let me finish. Well, well, if we're going by the assumption that we're dreaming, the next conclusion would mean that... Um, So I need to get out of here. Damn it! How about you stop right there? Why don't you tell us exactly what you're playing at? You're just trying to trick me. I know you're not real. Why on earth would that be? Sit down and talk with us some more. I don't know what's been going on. Come back to the table. Come on.
What do you want to know? Well, firstly, why are you trying to get out of the room before we can get a word out of you? I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I know you're not real. What do you mean? Trust me, people don't lucid dream together. My guess is that you're all subconscious projections. It's just, um, it hasn't taken me this long to wake up before. So, so wait. One of us is real, and the other three pretty much don't exist? I'm afraid so. So why do you assume that the real one out of us four is you? So, how exactly do we figure out who's real? I couldn't care less. What I really need is to get out of here. I've already tried. It didn't work for me. Well, you left here and came back with that gun, so you must have managed it somehow. Damn it. Look, we're dreaming now. You're not going to find a way out in a simple way. This isn't a dream. If you insist. You try the other two. There has to be one of these that will open. Not Jen. What about you? No. Not an inch. So we're stuck here. No. But would any of you care to ask why? Well, it's a dream, isn't it? I don't have dreams like this. Me neither. But that doesn't change the fact that that's what it is. So what do you suggest we do about it? We bring everything to the table. All our lives, no secrets. Till we figure out what we're in this room. Perhaps you'd like to go first, then. Fine. Let's start off small, shall we? Where do you live? I live in a small village out of town. Not far from here, actually. What do you do for a living? I work in a small shop. I don't know much, but I don't mind. Do you live alone? It's just me and my son. He's six. Your son. And the father? He doesn't see him. I don't know where he is, actually. I haven't seen him for a while. I see. Does this room or anything in it strike you as familiar? Yeah. I've been before. It's the town hall in the village where I live. There was a wedding. I remember my daughter asked me to pick her up to see the pictures. Your daughter? Yeah. Why? So you have more than one child? No. I think I was pretty clear on that. So if you only have one child, which do you have? A son or a daughter? I guess I have neither. There you have it. You okay? Fine. Don't exist, but I'm okay. Where are you going? Sit down, it's your turn. What is your occupation? I'm a doctor. I work as a GP, actually. You married? Children? No and no. What are you afraid of? What? That's not a difficult question. What scares you? Mm, death. Death. That's it. 
What do you want me to say? The answer? I think about it and be honest. I... I'm claustrophobic. Ever since I went caving as a child. Small spaces. Kind with the walls just closing on you. It's hell. Is there something you don't want to say? Nothing. You know when I said that we couldn't hide anything? I meant that you're not doing yourself or any of us in this room any favours by hiding anything. Is there a question with that? It's not that I'll get an answer of worth, is it? So you couldn't poke any holes in my ship. Is that it? Am I real? For now. How did you know? Know what? But this is a dream. It's a hobby of mine. This is my first lucid dream. Uh, the unconscious is part of my syllabus. I teach psychology. Where, may I ask? Why do you want to know? In case you've been there? No. Just trying to work out if I'm right. But what? Don't tell anyone. Because I'm still trying to figure out whether what's going on, but... I think you're real. You sure? Yeah. So it's me then. Don't seem that relieved. Well, thinking about getting out of here, I just realised if I wake up, so what? I'll just be stuck living the same day I've lived a hundred times before. What's that to look forward to? No. No, I can't. I can't leave here. Not yet. No. When you'd rather something than nothing. I guess. You're certain it's not you, though? Positive. You don't seem worried about what you've lost. Not lost anything. Never had it. But I'll take the hand you dealt with, even if it's nothing at all. Well, forgive me if nothing at all sounds appealing. Well, assuming this is your dream, you're sure to work something out. You wake up when you're ready. I know exactly what you're going to say. I haven't said anything. You don't have to. I saw you over there with him. He hasn't looked happier since he walked into this room. What was your plan? Tell me you think I'm real. After the grilling you just gave me. Something like that, yeah. Unbelievable. I wouldn't be too happy. You know what this means, right? I know you're not real, and neither of them do either. Right after you told them they were real? I wouldn't expect so. Anyway, I don't need them to. I just need to wake up. Good luck with that. Can I ask? What if we wait, tried to wake up by shooting ourselves? Surely we'd wake up then. You would, if you were real. But if you're not, you're sacrificing your entire existence. That's the risk. How about we continue with questioning? I want to get this over with quickly. Sure. Who wants to go next? I will, I guess. OK, let's start with something simple. Where do you live? Cambridge. In an apartment big enough for myself and close enough to work. And what do you do for a living? I teach at the university and I do research in my field. And your field, which is? Philosophy. You seem quite young and you're already teaching. It's quite impressive. 
I, uh, I always found school easy. I got my exams done early, then I got my scholarship to Cambridge. Then I got my degree, my master's and my PhD all relatively quickly. Well done. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, can I ask you more about your personal life? Are you in a relationship? <laughs> um, no, I'm afraid not. I don't really have time for anything like that. Do you get on with your parents? Yeah, um, they're proud of me, I believe, and uh, I still see them quite regularly. And how was your childhood? Oh, please. Let me take over. Now, tell me, do you think you're real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. Why is that? Well, Descartes once said, I think, therefore I am. I believe that applies to me. I was the one who realised we were dreaming, and so... Oh, Descartes. We both know that was a bunch of crap. She told you, didn't she? What? She spoke to you earlier, and I'm assuming she told you you were real? She's not going to deny it. She tried to say the same thing to me. And to him. <laughs> Face it. You've been played. Is this true? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. It was a placebo. Doubt is our biggest fear. I'm just trying to keep you all optimistic. Oh, you've done a terrific job of that, haven't you? Hey, hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just all of this talking and debating and thinking, even. It's, um, it's tiring, really. I mean, I don't know how long we've been here. I just, I need sleep. Yep, well, that's fair enough. You take all the time you need. What time do you have? Uh, eight minutes to eight. Not that that helps. It's been saying that since we got here. Too bad for this. Yeah, uh, almost. It's funny when you wake up, it's just more of the same. What is it? Your dream. Before I forget, I was in some sort of space. It was empty, no light or anything solid. And I was moving, not walking or swimming, floating even, just moving through this. I guess you'd call it a void. Moving towards some sort of door. I could tell that's what it was because I could see the cracks of light peeping through. I reached it, I felt for a handle, then a surface or anything I could grab onto. But I could never hold onto it long enough, it just blew away. I tried to knock, scream for help, kick it down, but it just wouldn't open. So what now? Well, we've interrogated everyone else. It's just you left. Okay. I'm ready. Come on, then. take a seat. Tell me, where do you live? Well, at the moment I'm living with my parents again, just till I find my own place. It's not very close to work anyway. Where is work? I work in an office. I make calls all day. We sell carpets. Can I ask why you live with your parents? A while back. I separated from my wife. It was... It wasn't very pleasant. 
I still see my kids from time to time, though. I've got to stop you a minute. I, I lied to you before. I don't know if you're real or not. I can't guarantee you see your kids again. I understand. Well, why aren't you afraid? Because it wasn't you that made me realize. It was earlier. I managed to open the door I thought you saw. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm guessing that makes me real. Well, maybe you could show us first. But... Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? The door from my dream, I know it's on the other side. It was reality, that's why I couldn't break through. You want to tell us what you're doing with that gun? I'm not real. He is. He opened the door. I could have... Don't want to make this mistake. Put the gun down and we'll talk. We've done enough talking. Days of it. Every word of it says that I won't wake up. At least it's my decision this way. Look, we're real. We're all real. In this room, in this dream. Just a short span of time. And so is life. Who knows, you might wake up. Just put the gun down. forward to if I wake up. Besides, who's to say I'm not taking your place? You wouldn't be. We never did exist. So you're giving up now? What else is there to do? He's won. It's not a game. You can't talk you ain't being real or not. It's just the truth. And that's it. I'm not real. And that's the truth. <laughs> At least I don't deserve to be. You're still hiding something, aren't you? Tell us what happened. Oh, well. I suppose it doesn't really matter now anyway, does it? I killed him. Who? Sam Cutter. The patient who was killed by his doctor the doctor. This case we've all been following, it, it, it's my case. I need to convict myself. You go through. You deserve a life. I don't know if I can. Just walk forwards. The, the, the light is right there. The light? Do you see that? It's the same room. How am I supposed to leave here? <laughs> 